Hello everyone, welcome back to um, Great North Reptiles YouTube channel. And this video, this will be actually a pretty quick video, I just wanted to show off um, my new Angolan python enclosure. So she's not in there, she just came out of um, quarantine, or she's going to come out of quarantine, and we're going to put her in here today. So for this setup here, We've got obviously her water dish. We've got um, this nice piece of grapevine and this nice piece of what I think is grapevine, but possibly not. Not too worried because in this enclosure is not gonna get hopefully anywhere from 50% uh, humidity. So I'm not really worried about things um, decaying or anything like that, like, like I get with the geckos and the boas. Um, this wall back here is something I made um, you can check out kind of the progress and um, that on my Instagram page if you would like. I did not have like a how-to video or even a how-to of how I did it because it was my first one and so I really had no idea what I was doing. But she's got a nice hide back here that actually opens up um, into some space. I have a thermostat here. Right here is a 90 degree nice hot spot for her to, for her to sit and bask. And then I also have heat tape, or um, a heat mat rather, down here. This one I have set for about 86, and this one here at 90. Now, I've had this up here for about a day, and the temperatures have been good. So we'll see how that goes, and that will probably get messed with as time goes on. And really trying to pinpoint um, the, the temperature gradient. Over here on the cool side, you can see here, if you can read that, it's about 74, which I like. So, and we'll see how that goes. And golans are, you know, they're different than ball pythons. We definitely want to keep the humidity level lower. Right now it's at about 54. If, it, if I struggle keeping it low um, at this time of the year, which could happen because of all the rain we've been having here, then I will put some computer fans here and that will help with the ventilation and keeping the humidity lower. I also have this humid hide, this has nothing in it at the moment. Um, these are, I am going to do a video on these humid hides. I think that they're absolutely amazing. I can tell you my boa over here, you can see that in there. She is in that thing right now. She's got the bigger one. Uh, these are absolutely amazing humid hides. They also serve great as just regular hides. Inside is black, so it will get nice and warmed up. So it serves as a nice little hide for her. Uh, if she doesn't want to be there where she can see the light, she can crawl in here and it's completely, whoop, is that right? It's completely black and pitch black in there. So that will be nice for her. All right, I'm going to go get her out. Uh, I moved her out of quarantine this morning. She's been soaking for a little while now. I'm going to set my camera here. Um, she's been soaking for a little while because I wanted to move her out of quarantine after she pooped, and she did. And she painted with her poop all over herself, like a good little snake. So I'm going to go get her, and I will be right back. All right. Sorry, sweetie. Whoop. And there she is. There she is. Now, I was a little concerned. Oops, sorry, sweetie. Let's put her right over here. Let her go in there and see what's going on. I was a little concerned that this cage was going to be a little bit big for her. Um, I actually got this off of Facebook Market. It is a, um, what is it, 24 by 18 by 12. Um, and when I got her, she was so small. I was concerned. However, I had her up in a little, uh, in a little five gallon upstairs in quarantine and she utilized every inch and definitely within a couple days seemed very, very big for that. So I think this is going to be good for her. They are much more active than your ball pythons. Um, and I have also seen her be more active than, uh, than my boas too. So I'm enjoying her a lot. She, she actually struck at me for the first time this morning. I kind of scooped her out really fast and was kind of holding her up by my 
kind of holding her up like this while I was doing something and she kind of struck at me a little bit, which is pretty typical. Snakes don't usually like that. But other than that, she's been actually really a pleasure to handle and, uh, and work with. Where's she going? Yeah. So I guess I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching. I know it's pretty short. I just want to show you guys what, what's been up. I haven't had time to film a lot lately or edit or anything like that. So I'm glad I can just do a couple of these quick videos here. Uh, if any of you in the comments have any advice, this is my first Angolian. I'm hoping I'm doing everything correctly. I've done a lot of research, read some papers. Um, I'm definitely excited to work with this species. We're definitely gonna look for a boyfriend in the next year or so. Um, but if anybody has any tips, uh, anything that they've learned in keeping these guys, uh, that would be awesome to hear about all of that. Oh, she's way up there. I also don't have a name for her. So if you guys have any ideas on a name, let me know. Um, and this is, again, this is her enclosure. My uh, computer fan up on top there. And I also think before tonight I'm going to get some paper. I usually just put printing paper, just like the boa there to, to put here. Um, so that she can have a little more privacy. I forgot to do that today. All right, cool guys, I'm heading out. Um, thank you for watching again. If you are interested, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. Um, also, you can follow us on Instagram where I'll put um, a lot of stuff as much as I can about what's going on here. Thanks guys, bye.